Thanks for stopping by. Today we're talking about dominant alleles versus recessive alleles. If you don't quite remember what an allele is, watch my video on genes versus alleles linked in the description below. All right. Every organism has at least two alleles for every gene. Two alleles for eye color, two alleles for horn size, etc. Right? Two alleles for every trait that it has. In the simplest scenario, these alleles have a dominant and recessive relationship, which means that uh, one form of the allele, the dominant allele, is expressed over the other form, the recessive. Right, we often show this relationship using the alphabet. So uppercase letters refer to a dominant allele, while lowercase letters refer to the recessive allele. So let's look at an example. Let's say cat fur color can be orange or gray. Orange being dominant and gray being recessive. The first thing we want to do is select a letter to represent the alleles. The letter you choose is not important so long as you can distinguish between the uppercase and the lowercase form of that letter. All right, so let's choose the letter F since we're dealing with fur color. So in this example, the big F or the capital F would be dominant or orange, and the lowercase F would be gray or recessive. And there are three different pairings of these two alleles. Right, you could have two dominant alleles, a big F and a big F, in which case the fur is orange, or you could have two recessive alleles, a little f and a little f, in which case the fur is gray, or you could have one of each, a big F and a little f. Um, the order doesn't matter here when there's one of each. Uh, in this last case, the fur would be orange because the dominant trait is always expressed over the recessive in, in this type. And that's it for dominant versus recessive alleles. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments, and be sure to stay tuned for my next videos on homozygous and heterozygous alleles and genotypes versus phenotypes. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.